Let's take a quick look at the steps required to install an LE300 turbine on a 54 yacht. Locate and gain access to the domestic battery bank. Ensure that sufficient battery connections are available for the turbine. Configure the DL300 charge regulator for flooded or dry battery cells. The DL300 regulator should usually be fitted to the engine bay. Ensure the controller unit is fitted to a heat proof surface. Find a suitable position for the run stop switch, a control box is ideal. Wire and configure the run stop switch as per the user manual. Begin to feed cables through the vessel. A suitable cable gland will be needed to pass the cable through the deck. Fit the hinge point for the aluminium mount kit. Also fit the cable gland. Take the aluminium mount kit and cut the rigid stays to the correct length. Ensure that all the cable routing is suitable for the mount kit. Attach the rigid mount kit stays to either the deck or the push pit rails. Adjust the position of the rigid stay mountings accordingly. Do a dry run with the mount kit without the turbine to ensure that it is vertical. Begin to assemble the turbine as per the user manual. Ensure that adequate connections are made to the turbine output links. The LE300 can now be fitted to the mount kit. Ensure all the fixings are tight. The mount kit and turbine can now be installed and the electrical connections made to the run stop switch. When all the electrical and mechanical installation is complete, the turbine is ready for use. Good morning from the back of uh, our yacht here. We're out in the English Channel off Falmouth. Uh, you see our LE300, which we installed the other day, operating perfectly. Uh, it's really designed to operate to charge your batteries under anchor or on a mooring. But as you can see, even with the boat healing quite considerably, we're pointing into a 12 knot wind. It's still charging, so it's performing very well indeed. And uh, we're very pleased with it. We're recording our total amp hours in the meter down below. So, the real benefit is you don't need to run your engine so much and therefore consume expensive diesel fuel. So, um, good luck with your machine. <laughs>